Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading Cancer for January 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below, Cancer, which cards resonate with you and how, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through uh, hearing how the tarot cards resonate. All right, Cancer? Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Cancer, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, darling as well darling be looking for the code word that's going to be popping up somewhere in this tarot video this week in this video rather not this week uh to write down in the comments below to be entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me all right uh so let's just jump right into your tarot reading now darling let's see where the vibes are currently at for you what's going on in your life right now cancer all right what are y'all dealing with currently ten of pentacles coming in here cancer all right starting out strong darling starting out strong cancer we have the eight of swords oh <laughs> the eight of swords coming in here what is going on now we started out strong and then it's like feeling really trapped in the situation here and then the seven of wands coming in here all right cancer back of the deck is the hanged man situation here <sighs> For many of you Cancers, I feel like y'all are at a point in time in your life where it's like you're so close that you can taste it. You're so close that you can just feel it in your loins, honey. I don't know if that's the proper word to be using, honey. Um, like you're, oh, you're so close to having everything that you've wanted here. But then we have this Eight of Swords energy here that has you feeling a little bit trapped here. All right. It has you feeling a little bit trapped. It has you in this place of where... Um, for some reason here, Cancer, you're feeling a little bit powerless, all right? Ten of Pentacles here with the Seven of Wands. I feel as if for many of you Cancers, I can't help but feel like it's like... If if what whatever your Ten of Pentacles is for you in your life, right, to get to your accomplishment, if it was just between you and your accomplishment or, or between you and whoever this situation is about here, I feel like things would be fine, fresh and funky, honey, admittedly. Um, but I do feel like there's a bunch of outside uh, outside noise or outside interference that makes the situation a little bit more difficult. All right. Hangs man situation here. I feel like y'all are really craving a change. Let's start clarifying this row here, Cancer, and see what we can flesh out uh, with this. What more detail can we get uh, in regards to this situation here, Cancer? Hmm. We have the King of Wands stepping forward to you, and this is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles here. Because here's the thing here, uh, Cancer. Um, you guys are really at a point in time in your life where it's like you just need to go just a little bit further. All right. Four of Swords coming in here. Clarifying that Eight of Swords. And then we got the Five of Cups coming in here, clarifying the Seven of Wands back of the deck energy is the seven of swords so something shady definitely is going on here cancer and you're not able to ignore it here it's like you know if this is about your finances here or like in terms of something in the workplace it's like you're so close to having some type of accomplishment in your life here but then there's like some type of shady third party energy here that's just unrelated to you and your goal that then starts sabotaging things right there's something in the back here darling here that starts interfering and you can't quite put your finger on it but you know it's there and existing all right and so what i want to be telling you uh cancer is that you're not crazy girl i see these cat hairs I'm I'm looking crazy just picking at air but this cat here is miss tulip got on my table apparently um yeah there's like definitely something that you have your eye on that you can't ignore it where it's just like and perhaps you feel like this sense of frustration here cancer of where like you're starting to tell yourself that it's in your head maybe about the situation and i want to just be telling y'all just like don't let this situation gaslight you all right i want to allow this tarot reading here honey to confirm to you your internal thoughts here all right allow this here to confirm your internal thoughts of what's going on here because something shady is definitely going on here with that seven of swords in the back of the deck there is some type of sabotaging energy that like messes things up right before you hit the finish line all right 
and you know it as well but because you're not able to perhaps like either show proof about this or you're not able to have something of physical evidence maybe right now it's just like a gut feeling right you just have a feeling that something is like going on behind you right but every single time you turn around it like disappears but i just want you to know uh here at cancer that you're not crazy all right you definitely are on to something here so don't even if the gaslighting is just you gaslighting yourself honey where you're just like oh, i just must be crazy it's like no you're you're not here uh cancer you are not crazy you are sensing something is a, a muck here right because it's like you just on your own have this strong potential right you know you're going after your uh, ten of pentacles you're leading with a vision like you're really just after really just stability in general here in cancer right and so for you like you have that sneaking suspicion of something watching behind your back darling but you can't prove it and it's like yeah here is i don't like this either cancer i don't like it either you have the four of swords clarifying this eight of swords here this is where i feel like some of y'all are internalizing uh the bumps on the road here uh cancer i feel like some of you guys are telling yourself where it's just like you start convincing it's like all right well this clearly must just not be meant to be for me honey since every single time you get so close is something just happens here right and so i one i just want to say i celebrate you and i respect you for this cancer because it just shows to you where it's like you don't want to necessarily put the blame on something else or somebody else here you're taking a little bit of ownership here and be like all right maybe i just you know uh, let bygones be bygones right fact of the matter is though like you can't like there's just like this itch on the back of your neck here cancer there's something that you know is up here darling and you're not crazy there is some, like something in your space right now you know there's a rat darling there's a rat essentially here all right so check your sp um check your uh social space right now put up some better boundaries is what i want to be telling you um and being shown the evil eye maybe there's someone in your current space that you use like a secret hater of yours uh, uh, cancer admittedly where they might be just doing the evil eye on you or even just like they see you watching watching you from afar where you're going after your ten of pentacles here and they actually like it's like jealousy here all right someone here is not actually rooting for you and you don't necessarily see it and uh don't yeah you're not aware about this just because like for you and your end you're just like well this is my family this is my friends like of course they're supportive here no darling there's a rat honey you gotta you gotta um what is it it's like snuff out the rat or like something about getting exposed in the rat honey i don't know i feel very godfather when i'm like there's a rat even though i never watched the godfather here but you're not crazy here uh cancer don't gaslight yourself on this there's definitely a rat there's definitely a rat and i normally my regular sonny know that i don't usually go into like drama narratives so it's like for me darling to be going into that way there's clearly something up honey i don't like it i don't like it at all so uh let's get into your second row now uh cancer let's see what else is going on for y'all's lives at this current point in time here let's see what else is up all right <clears throat> let's see here cancer we have here the page of pentacles coming forward to you all right with the ten of swords coming in as well and then cancer we have coming in the knight of or rather not the knight honey the king of swords darling coming in and then we have the chariot energy coming in here chariot energy i believe this is your energy right cancer i always for some reason associate this with sagittarius personally i don't know why but i think this is your uh uh one of your major arcanas here uh, cancer so even the, like it's interesting here it's like you are aware about the rat here uh cancer like we identify the rat we identify something is a muck honey right with that first row there and i feel like it's actually going to be coming to light quicker than you know and matter of fact i feel like they're going to be the ones to expose themselves here cancer all right page of pentacles comes in where it's talking about someone extending their pentacles someone extending communication here <clears throat> uh, excuse me you know so that's one sign of communication ten of swords came in as well and this is inverted i always do take inverted by the way um i just like to showcase the artwork of the cards for y'all so um i never will fill up the noise with just like what something's inverted or not but i point out this being inverted because when the ten of swords is in the upright or rather inverted those swords in the upright was signaling uh communication um as well so 
and in this way it's like someone coming someone coming clean about it which is interesting here uh cancer um and then you have the king of swords coming in as well which just really affirms that sense of where it's like you get that affirmation after the fact the king of swords that's like the master of the psyche just like like the king of swords is very receptive of things right and so that's why i want to be saying it's like don't gaslight yourself right now cancer um and the chariot energy is really just implying that this is coming um sooner than you know like things are coming into balance some of y'all have a pretty strong uh spiritual team right now bringing justice to the situation like it's like they found the rat honey your spiritual team and then they're just going to be throwing it inside a room with you forcing them to confess in some way here all right pay attention to the people in your life right now who start to uh, restart complaining soon about like some bad dreams for example uh cancer like you're going to start noticing signs start paying attention to your social circle about people who start coming to you and complaining about of just like a bunch of ailments going on honey all right because that's real that's how i feel like this is going to be going down for some of y'all because they're your spiritual team exposing them in that way all right so Come on down, Cancers. Y'all are always protected, honey. Um, but yeah, this is giving me very much so like you get affirmations. Like the truth comes out and you are just like, okay, like I knew you knew something was up, honey. You knew you something was up. You were right this entire time here, Cancer. All right. Um, you knew that you sensed the rats, darling, essentially here. So let's start clarifying this row now. Mm -hmm. What else can we flesh out with this here, uh, Cancer? Let's do one more bridge shuffle. And then we'll do a couple little shuffle shuffles, honey. And then we'll start pulling the cards here. And that's good. So we have the Hierophant energy coming in here on that page of pentacles. Oh, this is not the thing I wanted to be seeing here, Cancer. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Five of Wands coming in, clarifying that Ten of Swords. And then, Cancer, we got here the Page of Cups coming in here clarifying your king of swords back of the deck energy is the four of cups so yeah you didn't see this coming here cancer you weren't seeing you are not receptive of this rat currently because your guard is down with this energy right now your guard is down with them and the reason why is because this is someone that has been part of your life for a hot biscuit honey this is part this is like someone like either like in your family a long-term friend or something like someone where there's history honey you know you wouldn't you would anticipate this more of a someone that's a little bit fresher in your life like an acquaintance or something but you want to anticipate it with them right but they definitely come clean their conscious starts like it's like their conscious starts taking over and they can't live with themselves with what it is that they ended up doing here five of wands this is the card of competing goals like you know you see in the artwork of it of multiple people fighting after the same thing here cancer right and so they come up they come clean because it's like i feel like it's just like a sense of jealousy here and here's the thing based off of this uh situation now cancer i don't like maybe there's not necessarily this desire of like wanting to bring harm to you but it's like it's maybe like a situation cancer let's just you say for example you started like having some success in the workplace making more money or are you in a good relationship darling right i feel like what happens is like someone in your social circle gets jealous because they wish that was them and so um you know thoughts or energy i have a sneeze coming out so if you see me making a weird face honey <laughs> <laughs> all right Ugh. so yeah it's like they they're your friend but like what they're what you're accomplishing in your life they just wish it was them and so thoughts are energy here so then because of that jealousy being like oh that should have been me da, 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 da. you know that's still sending out that bad energy darling right we don't have like a three of swords here or something like that where it feels like direct pain here it kind of just feels like jealousy and so part of the reason why I also say this is because of the Page of Cups clarifying the King of Swords. I feel like it's for, and maybe this is just me being optimistic here, Cancer, but I feel like how the conversation is going to be going is where it's just like, hey, Cancer, like, I need to just come clean about this. Like, I just recently been feeling insanely jealous recently about things, and I just wanted to say sorry. Like, I feel like, because here's the thing, I don't feel like they needed to come clean about this. Like, they could have just been doing whatever, but it's like your spiritual team just gets involved and starts messing with their conscious and dreams and all that. And it's like, it eats up at them where it's just like they have to come clean for themselves. And the Page of Cups, by definition, refers to like the deepening of current connections. So, you know, I mean, maybe that's just my optimism here, Cancer. It's up to you if you want 
want to forgive them and all that but you know just remember darling we're all human you know in some ways it's just a compliment honestly cancer that uh people are jealous of the life that you're leading and what is going down in your life right it's better to have people be jealous of you than to have people pity you right i mean that's my opinion on things but you know easier said than done it's a lot easier for me to say something like that when i'm not the one going through that right all right here can so let's get into your third row now um and see what you don't see come in home well, besides that and um what you need to be watching out for cancer all right let's see here we have the queen of wands stepping forward to you cancer with the queen of cups all right queen energy come on queen <laughs> how you doing and then we have here the strength energy here hmm. so what you don't see coming here back of the deck is the seven of pentacles what you don't see coming here uh cancer your work is about to be cut out for you darling all right your work is going to be cut out for you really soon here um i feel like we're kind of uh going off from what we were talking about beforehand and then going into focusing in on what it is that you're creating and just your overall successes uh here at cancer all right when you have the queen of wands here and the queen of cups the queen of cups she's called the queen of cups but no one really pays attention to the fact that she's actually never holding a cup she's holding a trophy there right keeping her eye on the prize right now the queen of wands she's the one that leaves the nest right she leads with her heart whenever she has a gut intuition on something or instinct on something what she should be doing she goes after it genders obviously don't matter by the way y'all and then you have the strength energy coming in here like you're going to be having your work cutting out for you i feel like there's going to be an opportunity coming forth uh for you cancer or more responsibility being placed on your shoulders as you continue on in your path i feel like more success happens for you in whatever facet this is for you whether it's in your relationship or in, especially in terms of like some type of project of yours uh cancer and um I think this message is more so just coming in of just trying to prepare you for that, where it's just like, all right, honey, start eating your Wheaties now, honey. Start getting yourself prepared. Start clearing out your to-do list. Start doing your errands now, because real soon, darling, we're going to be making a lot of grounds in terms of your um, goals and aspirations, honey, right? So let's do one more bridge shuffle here, Cancer, and then we'll start pulling the cards to clarify this. So... <clears throat> We have coming in here the devil, darling, the devil. Mm. And then, Cancer, we got the Ten of Wands here. Girl, what is going on here, Cancer? And then we have here the Six of Swords. Back of the deck energy is the Two of Pentacles coming in here. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah uh, for you... Uh, Cancer, y'all really need to take care of your to-do list, giant to-do list, whether you need to take care of certain chores around the house, clean up your house and stuff like that. Y'all, or for some of you guys, depending on what it is, like, depends on what you see as this devil. Some of you guys, your devil is, uh, you're wanting to... Like you wanted to have certain things done or get to a certain health standard for yourself before you elevated yourself in your career and putting yourself out there more or what have you, Cancer. Y'all need to start taking care of this now. Start taking care of this devil now because the opportunities are coming. And if you are getting weighed down by these things that you don't take care of by this baggage here, darling, you're going to have to unfortunately be walking away, forced to walk away from it. You know, this is one of those times where it's just like, hey, darling, right? Let's say you want to be an actor it's like hey darling you're about to be getting an acting role here but you don't feel personally comfortable with acting until you lost five more pounds honey you need to start working out losing those five more pounds because this acting role is coming in sooner than you're anticipating here and you can't be delaying this anymore all right so i take this double energy more so as like your own internal stuff that weighs you down here uh cancer things are happening darling all right things are happening success is still continuously on its path towards you cancer all right so let's clarify uh, uh wrap up your tarot reading here cancer with some oracle cards before we close out your reading here we have the emu card oh come on now the emu card says this is time to go on a new adventure darling come on what was i just saying here cancer what was i just saying honey come on now cancer uh so listen here darling the adventure is coming in sooner than you're anticipating honey summer's coming around you want to get that summer body darling get that start working on that summer body come on now cancer 
And then your moon oracle card. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. This goes back to your first couple rows, uh, Cancer. I feel as if for many of you guys, it is just going to be a sense of where someone just feels bad about, you know, wishing you ill harm or just more so just jealousy, I feel, Cancer. Um, so I feel like communication is key. Allow them to say their truth. I ain't telling you to forgive them, darling, because that's your business and what you want to be doing, darling. You know, my life don't change either way. Do what's best for you, darling. All right. But give them a chance to communicate. All right, Cancer. Um, I love you so much. That is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week, Cancer. If you enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private to personal reading with me, Cancer, my website's linked down below. Simply Velcro. Dot com. Next to my social media is TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, darling. All three of those, just simply Velka, same as here, all right? Um, and then I'll be connecting with you, Cancer, sometime in the near future, hopefully. Girl, that voice crack. Hopefully, honey. I love you so much. Bye, y'all.